Hey everybody, we are live. I'm Mike. And I'm Jennifer Wendland. And uh, this is uh, 5 o'clock and we are live in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, let's tell everybody where we are first of all. This is at uh, American RV. Now I know that the wording behind us is backwards. And again, we explain this all the time. That's because we're using the front facing camera so that we can actually read your comments as you join us. And that's the uh, front facing camera when you do Facebook Live on, uh, on Facebook, it, uh, it's, everything's reversed. So forget about the left to the right and you'll be, uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, we also are with Bo. Say hi, Bo. That's Bo. He's uh, on a leash right now or a little line. Uh, and he's line. not used to being on a and leash. And I just gave you a quick uh, look at our brand new RV. That's what we're here to talk about. And you're going to see a whole bunch and we'll answer some questions and go from there. Um, but first of all, let's kind of uh, set the scene as people are starting uh, to join us right now. And I've got to come a little bit closer to be able to, to see. Let's see. Uh, which there we go. So um, this is, see the sun shining right on that. That's a much better shot. Those are all of the road treks that are uh, available for sale here. And you can see there's some others. This is a, I don't want to get away from road trek, but see that blue one back there? We'll have to talk about that later on. That's a new one on the Ford Transit van. It's pretty cool. It's called a CrossFit. But anyway, I'm getting way ahead of myself. We uh, want to show you where we are. We're at American RV, and uh, you see they're doing some construction. They're building a 21,000-foot expansion back in there. It'll be open uh, shortly after the first of the new year, and uh, it'll be an indoor showroom. American RV is uh, just a great spot in Grand Rapids. We have built. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting my feet bit by my dog. Uh, and you are now looking at our new uh, our new road trek. There it is. What is it? Well. It's the same kind as the one we had before. The one we had before, uh, we'll come back, we're going to walk you inside in a minute, and then we'll be able to take your questions. The one we had before was uh, a uh, CS Adventurous XL, and that's what this one is. This one is... <laughs> Can you hear my dog? He's got your foot tied. He's got my... I got to show everybody this. Look at that. My foot is all tied up with the dog, and he is... He's wild. If I, if He's I was wild. to move... If I was to move, that would be over. All right. uh, it's all right. Let's uh, let's uh, see if we, he will let us show us where we are here. Um, the, uh, the CS Adventures XL that we had uh, for the last two and a half years has uh, just served us really well. We have just loved that vehicle. And we loved it so much that we had this pretty much the same thing, except four by four. Now, yeah, why did we get this, uh, this new one? Um, well, the one we had was a production vehicle. And we were testing out many of the things that uh, were brand new. Uh, there was all brand new innovation. Uh, for example, the lithium batteries, uh, uh, the extra solar that was available. So um, a lot of the things that we were testing on that first one are now part of the production process, including a couple of other things. So we were able to, uh, our first vehicle was done as a, I'm gonna get inside because it's very windy out here. Uh, come on in, Jen, and we'll see if we can bring the dog as well. Okay, let me leashes. <laughs> we'll have to change some leases. But um, the first one, uh, we had a lot of new production uh, stuff that we, we were testing out, and now all that stuff is available in the um, in the road track. So we were able to uh, to get that as production stuff. In other words, it doesn't all all t being tested. But one big thing that we got was four by four four wheel drive. And this is really important. It is. We can. We aren't going to scrape. We can go off trail. We can go to those adventuresome places. When she says we aren't going to scrape. She means the bottom uh, of our other one would often hit when we would go up uh, into some of the rougher places where we boondock. And with 4x4, it's raised up a little bit. And we can go to more difficult terrain. We're really excited about that. We are. And uh, uh, let's uh, do a quick little tour. <laughs> I'm going to switch back here. Actually, I'm going to switch to the other camera, and you can uh, you can kind of. I'll try and hold Bo, and you You've can got your hands you full. can. I, I have my Bo. hands full, and then we'll sit down and answer any of your questions. So give a quick tour of uh, right. this thing. Microwave convection oven. This convection oven is really nice, isn't it? Awesome. And we've got a large freezer capacity where we can bring lots of food from home when we go out of town. And a large refrigerator. So this, we love this, the large refrigerator. 
and a lot of trees are there. This is, I believe, six cubic feet, so you really can take enough to uh, to do it. And, and then we've got a sink, instant hot water, two burners, two burners, and uh, a pantry, nice big pantry, our bathroom. And the bathroom is uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of people wonder how much room you have in this thing, and it's surprising, isn't it? Yeah, there's it's there's enough room. There's the uh, the sink. We have our heater. Oh in yeah, the bathroom. The, we'll come back to that part in a bit. Okay. But uh, this is the shower, and everybody says, "Well, how do you shower in it?" Well, there's a shower curtain, it kind of pulls all the way around, and uh, it really does a nice job. There's the uh, commode. It's right there. These doors shut like so, and you can see that you can get enough room uh, in these doors. So it kind of goes. Uh, I think it would go the other way. It kind of goes like. All right. So there's enough room in there for uh, for for you to shower, to turn around in, and it works works really nice. The back set up as a sofa or a near king size bed when you make it such. Uh, we have overhead air conditioning in this unit, so we're using overhead. And then um, all of the back looks great. I don't know if you can see back in here, but we've got some screens on the back. We also have some screens on, on the front. Of course, there's a TV and a DVD. Tons of cupboard space storage. And Jen, this is a new color for Road Trek, isn't it? For inside? The other one we have is a darker wood. We have the ebony. This is the cherry. Yeah. It could be slightly lighter than the cherry that we had in the e-track. And uh, then, of course, everybody wants to see the cockpit. There you go. Uh, uh, we have our set be uh, with three seats. The Obviously, the driver, the passenger, and then there's one right behind here that we have. And then um, we like the extra space uh, to have, you know, the, some some you know, some of the other models have a fourth seat there. We opted to get the big refrigerator, so that's much better. So let's walk down, and uh, we can try and answer some questions, and we'll sort of set up. We've got Bo with us, and uh, this is going to be kind of a kind of an adventure. Bo is sitting right next to Jennifer, and uh, say hi, Bo. Bo, do you like your new? He's kind of mad because he's on a leash, and he wants to play. But here we are. Okay, so uh, we've uh, got a whole bunch of people who are watching us uh, right now, and uh, let's see, uh, let's see what we can uh, what we can find with any of your questions. You can post them. Uh, we we uh, this is as I said, this is not a fourth unit that we've had. Uh, if you could change, uh, Joe asked if you could change one thing, what would it be? That's a good question. What would you change? One thing. Boy, that's a hard question. Yeah. Yeah, this is like paradise to us, Joe. Yeah, so and we have everything we want here. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, what would we and, we're, and actually, the one thing we wanted, we changed because we've got the four by four. Yeah, I think the thing that's exactly it. That the four by four uh, is good. So I saw somebody had asked, uh, "What was the clearance on it?" Well, the four by four is probably another four four inches, maybe at least that. Uh, I don't know what the actual figure is. I just know that the. Uh, with all the batteries that we had and the boondocking that we personally do, that's just our style, it's fine everybody sells, that sometimes I'd have to go really slow so it's not to scrape. And with that 4x4, I can really take you back in the back country now. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, and that's that's what we like. Uh, uh, hi to Angelique from Austin, Texas. How big is the bathroom facilities? Well, you just saw a minute ago, we just did that tour. Um, big I, enough. Big enough. Big enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you gotta go bad enough, it's big enough. No, it, it's 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 more than adequate, I think. You know, the one thing that on a Class B is you do not have all of the water capacity. If you're boondocking, if you're in a campground, you're hooked up to water and you can you can use a lot more water. But we, we tend to do boondocking, so you have to be a little you have to be conservative with your water use. And we take what's called a navy shower. You know, you get yourself wet, and you lather up. And turn off the water, lather up, and then you 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 you, you shake yourself off and put some more uh, rinse on it. But the battery, the, the bathroom is great. Um, when those doors close, instead of closing like that, when you're using it, they kind of close like that, so you get a little bit extra speed, and uh, it works. I'm a pretty big guy, and uh, and it works. Uh, I was wondering how we're going to tactfully say <laughs> that uh, you know that you can move around and do yeah. just what you want to do. Really, are really big. You probably wouldn't want to. 
Must be yeah. anyway. Uh, the question is, do the doors have screens? Uh, asked uh, Greg. Yes, they do. Uh, you probably can't see the back one when we showed it because it's a screen. But there's a screen on the back door. We often, when we're boondocking, sleep like that. And uh, they're, they're great. They're a, they're, it's a mesh screen. And on the side door, we have a, it's a magnetic screen that comes together. Uh, I've seen many of the screens on a, on a lot of the other RVs that you know have like a regular screen door. They break all the time. And I know that road track engineers have tested this over and over again, and they truly believe that for reliability, the best screen right now is a, a magnetic screen, and it uh, they come together strong magnets. You can go out, and they'll come right back together, and we're very happy with that. Uh, just tuning in from New Jersey, uh, Shirley, those of us watching on the YouTube channel, we're not seeing anything. You will in an hour, Shirley. Uh, they finally switched, I finally switched to Facebook and found you already shared, so I missed the beginning. Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you what, everything that we do here on YouTube, or on Facebook, will we'll automatically go over to our YouTube channel uh, as soon as this, uh, this finishes. And you can go back and, and watch that beginning if you'd like. Uh, but uh, for those of you just tuning in, what size are the tanks? Um, boy, I should know this off the top of my head. I think about, I think 30 gallons. Does that sound right? Somebody from Road Trek is probably watching us right now. How many? How big are the tanks on this? Just type that in. And let us know. I believe it's 30 gallons, maybe 15 on the on the black. The better question is, how long do they last with two people before you have to empty the black tanks? You know, that's where the yuck is. We go a week. We can go a week easily, easily, with two people. So, so that's good. Uh, but, but, but um, we'll kind of circle back on that, and somebody I'm sure will will come up and answer that okay. for you in a little bit. Uh, is this a 2018? No, this is a 2017. Um, RVs really don't do 2018, 2019. It's not like cars because uh, there's every new model is a new model. This is a 2017. The 2018s will be out in 2018. Uh, so it, it all they all work. Uh, diesel mileage for a 4x4, well, I, I'm told it'll be fairly comparable to what I had on the previous unit. Uh, that is, uh, right now I'm, uh, I was getting, uh, well, just coming here to Grand Rapids from our home on the other side. This is Michigan, right? Uh, that's where our home was there. No, that's where our home was. <laughs> and now we're over here, we went across the state to Grand Rapids where we are right now. And I got 15 in a very strong headwind. Normally I get about 16 and a half, so I'll let you, I'll let you know. Could you have spent as long as six months, Elaine Jenkins said. Absolutely, Elaine. We know a number of people who are full-timing in yes, this Yes, we thing. have no, quite a few folks who live it at full-time, couples as well as single. Our friend Camp Skunk is in one the same exact size, and he's in Europe now for six months extended stay there. He lives in his full-time, full-time, so uh, you, you certainly can. Uh, sorry, six months is an RV in an RV in this size. Yes, you can. You know, it's just, you don't need to carry a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I was amazing, uh, amazed at how much stuff we had in the old one when I had to take it all out to bring it here. Yeah, he had planned on just taking things back and forth. I said, no, we're going to empty it at home. We yeah. had a lot. Now we got to go sort through. It, it, it literally filled up my garage. That's how much I had stored in the other one. So for those, just to kind of recap, if you've just tuned in and if our YouTube audience has come in, I haven't, to be real honest, I haven't figured out how to do YouTube live yet. I want to do YouTube live. So this will come right over to there as soon as it's done. Um, but I'm familiar with Facebook live and this is our Facebook page where we have like 400,000 likes so you can get a, a ton of people. And it's, uh, Should you introduce Bo again for those that came Yes, uh, everybody wants to always see our dog Bo. So. So there's Bo. Bo is being a really good boy now. After just in. about taking you down. Bo, yeah, he was playing. <laughs> Bo, you want to say anything to anybody? Bo says he likes it. He says he likes the road trekking life. So. Matches his coat. He matches his coat. He likes the color. It's gray and black, and uh, it's good. Simple living with lots of freedom, says uh, Stu Susie. Yeah, Susie, that is exactly what we like about the uh, RV lifestyle. It is, it is freedom to go wherever you want. Did you tow any additional vehicle? You don't have to. Uh, with a road track, you can tow up to I think five to seven thousand pounds, but um, no, you don't need to because it's so portable. That's why we chose a Class B because you basically just unhook. And in this case, because we have solar on the roof, uh, we've got EcoTrack, which always keeps the uh, batteries charged uh, with, this, with the solar. If the solar should wear down or if the, if if you use a lot of juice, 
So it's, it's energy independent. We don't have to even be plugged in in a campground. Um, has, Jennifer says, has to be BOA approved. Yes, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Uh, Switch is joining, what's the new RV? It's the same one, <laughs> surprise, it's the same model that we had before. Uh, we had a 2015 Road Trek CS Adventurous XL. And this is the 2017 model. Why did we switch? Because the one we had, we were using as a prototype. We were testing out many of the, of the new innovations that Road Trek had come up with. Well, those innovations now, two years later, are part of the production process. And so these, this vehicle has, uh, instead of the, uh, for example, our, the first one we had, the prototype, was a 24-volt system. Well, they've since learned through our tests and Camp Skunk's tests and others that a 12-volt system is actually more efficient. So we were constantly in our prototype uh, say, oh, that works best with 12 volts, and this is set up for 24, and they, were, they would always fix it for us. But this one now is the 12-volt system that's production, and everything is, is, uh, is set right. But the big reason, as Jennifer said, is 4x4, four four, that extra clearance, and we have found our style of RVing is boondocking. And that, that's what we enjoy, so this is going to be perfect for us. Yep. Uh, somebody says, what made you get an RV versus a tiny mobile home? Because I can't decide what's the difference. Well, a mobile home is a trailer. Uh, it, you got to tow it. And if you want to tow it, that's fine. You just have to figure out what you want, whether you want a, a trailer. You need a tow vehicle to pull it. Right. Whatever. It's a little harder to back up, right? Just figure out what you want and go yeah. for it. Uh, so for us, a small Class B motorhome was hands down the choice. We absolutely love it. Just love it. it. It works really well. Five years now. Yeah, this is our fifth year. And we um, uh, we will leave here after we do this Facebook Live. Actually, there's a couple of stories I might want to shoot while we're at American RV here in Grand Rapids. They've got some really cool stuff. Um, but uh, we will leave here and then uh, we're going to travel back across the state to our home in southeast Michigan. And then we're going to actually go spend um, spend the night uh, uh, tomorrow night, and this is what we recommend to anybody when you get an RV, give it a quick rundown for a night or two, make sure everything works, and we'll do that tomorrow, and if there's any issues tomorrow night, we still have time to come back here, because next week, we are on our way west. We are heading west to uh, Montana. Uh, do you use the hitch for additional storage? You know, um, we did at one point, didn't we? Yeah, you had a... A, a stowaway, they called it, yeah. a big box. Uh, and there's one now that I'm kind of looking at that's uh, that would hold, for example, an inflatable cake kayak. I've given up on my hard-shelled kayak. I can't carry it in a, in a, in a smaller motorhome. Uh, and it would also carry some bikes. Uh, we use the hitch to, to bring bikes, and we can carry bikes uh, that way. Um, and you could tow a, tr a small trailer or a car. Yep. Dan the RV man just uh, shared our video. Hey Dan from uh, Van City RV in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. They got a big um, a big uh, show coming up. Uh, it's their anniversary in just a couple weeks in June. Uh, you got to check that out. Uh, somebody said, did you figure out a kayak? All right, here's, I haven't revealed this. I had to sell my kayak. I had to sell my kayak. And half the reason I got it is there was some guy on this group actually that came out and said, oh, I got a kayak, it'll work great, great, great hitch for you. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll get this kayak. And I got it. And six months went by and they, I never, it didn't work out. So there just wasn't a good st uh, solution to carry a kayak with us. So now I'm back. People have talked me into maybe getting a, an inflatable. There's also some that kind of break apart and fold apart. So I'm still looking, I'm hoping I can get one. When the weather is bad, do you get stir crazy inside there <laughs> no <laughs> you have your office up front I Bo and I have our office back here and uh, it's a good time to take a nap read yeah um, so I, I, I hit the little heart sign or something does everybody want to for newcomers should we do another real quick walkthrough on this thing we can let you know if you want to see it and uh, and ask her some questions uh, from there uh, how long have you been together I mean the two of us um, <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> a long time. Okay, Very lots of people want to walk through. Look at that. Look at all those hearts coming through. All right, so they want to you walk through because I'm sitting here with Bo. We got uh, Bo sitting here. Okay, let me uh, let me pull it out. Uh, all right, I got it. We're gonna do the walk through. I love it. This is great. Whoops, that was oh, the that case. Just woke up. That just woke up. I woke Bo. up, Bo. 
Uh, all right. Okay, so let me switch to the front side of the video, and we'll start off. So uh, how comfortable are we? Well, here's where we were working, and uh, Jennifer I was sitting next to Jennifer on the side sofa, and there is Bo, Bo our Norwegian Alcon. Bo has the comfy seat, and he's already claimed that. Uh, uh, so he is really like somebody says any suggestions about bike racks um, Swagman S W A G M A N that's the one we use we love it it it'll actually uh, pull out like that so you can open the back door um, okay somebody's going for bow ah uh, so that is awesome uh, now let me just show you a couple things we uh, on the back Television. Uh, can you see there is a screen so that is wide open and uh, there's the folks at American RV uh, that's where we are in Grand Rapids. They have a full lot full of road tracks and all sorts of other RVs and a couple of really cool things. There is one little unit. If I if I have time, I'll run out and show you. I would like to think about getting and, try and towing, but it's really, really cool. Uh, uh, Robert says, check out the Oru kayak. It's like an organic. Yeah, that's the one I want to look at, Robert. I really do. And uh, Patty says, beautiful dog. Thank you. Uh, head, uh, this is kind of like a, a mantle and a little headboard at the bed and you can store stuff, put your glasses or your cell phones and charge them right there. Um, this sofa, this is how we normally keep it during the day, like this. And then, uh, I don't want to scare Bo, but there's a little switch right there. And if I hit that, I, do it, yeah. I won't do it. The, uh, the bed there will come forward. And then here, uh, you can have it, then it'll be uh, two singles, a single there, a single there. Or you can take that piece of wood right there, that'll slide out, come between it, and this will make you pretty much a king-size bed. It's a, it's a really nice uh, a nice feature. So that's, uh, that's the back end. We tend to leave ours like that uh, all day long. Uh, when we travel during the day, we set ours up so it's... Uh, so it's set up as a as a sofa. We like that. We do. And uh, today we both got tired, and we just pulled over to rest area and took a half hour nap and continued on our way. Look at Bo looking out the screen. That's one another reason we like to leave the screen open. So he's he's waiting for somebody to come and give him a pet. All right, the bathroom. Everybody always asks about the bathroom. I just opened the bathroom. You can see you've got some towel racks there, and inside, uh, that's the shower, and the shower hooks up to the sink, and there's a sink. You have um, heat that comes out here, so it's uh, nice and warm. Uh, you got a little storage drawer there. There is the commode. I always feel funny showing a picture of a toilet. <laughs> what are you gonna do? And this is a shower curtain, and the curtain, you can see up here, it's got a little rack. It'll come all the way around. Uh, it'll come all the way around so it it protects this is all a sort of a set period so you don't have water on the floor it's all it's all handled real real well there and uh, there's enough room you know you just uh, kind of uh, set yourself up real quick um, so that you can uh, you know you get yourself damp real quick and then rinse it all off and it works it works great so uh, so there's the uh, there's the bath and how how the bath works. I like it. You know, there's a hook here, and you can kind of that'll keep the keep it from rattling, and then it sort of locks in really good when you're traveling. Uh, Jennifer always likes to show off the cupboard. Tell about how much stuff can you get in there? Huh? A lot in there. Open up this pantry door, and there's your storage: towels, food, whatever you're gonna take. Lots of room. I mean, we really can carry. Couple weeks Coffee worth of food, pot. right? Coffee yeah, pot, everything. fan, extra fan. There's more storage up there. Lots uh, of storage. This is usually where your podcast things go with cameras. That's my side right there. That's where I keep yeah, all my clothes. That's my that's my knapsack or my backpack. Uh, in the back, show them where we keep the bedding or how that works. So this is really deep. Can you see that? It goes against the whole width of the inside of the vehicle. It's really nice. Now, you're going to have to explain it to me because on our last one we had that drop-down shelf. Where did the drop-down shelf go? I mean... The, the drop-down shelf actually cut some of that space off. So this works out well. It was it was a, a nice feature of the drop-down shelf because you could hide stuff back there, but you had to have power and uh, this really gives you just about as much space because it goes... It's You can see how deep it is and it goes all the way across. So we keep 
uh, our sleeping pads rolled up in there. We keep two two pillows there. We keep our, um, our our super bags in there, and believe it or not, it all squishes in there and and fits. At least we hope so, yeah, right? I was going to say I'm going to have to. Yeah, we'll try that out uh, tomorrow. Not, I'm not quite sure. More storage here for Jennifer's stuff. That's where she keeps her her side. Of, that's nice that's side. the girl's side, and yeah. uh, in there is uh, for uh, for the TV and the. Uh, there's an antenna on the roof, and there's also cable. Uh, the TV comes with a little cover on it, so it tucks away nice in there. There's a DVD as well, and there's the uh, there's the TV, and uh, it's just reflecting in the light. So, but it's on a cable, and it'll swing out, and it's it's very nice. Uh, so moving forward, um, talk about the galley, Jennifer. We've got a two burner propane. And you can close that up when you need more workspace. And the, the faucet, the sink, is here. Instant hot water. Instant hot, I mean, super hot water for a cup of tea. And then the blue, this is blue, that's for filtered water, which is really nice. I use that for my coffee. And then we'll make hot tea or hot chocolate sometimes with that. And then when you're traveling, push it down, push it over, and shut this. Okay. And then again, underneath, oh, lots no. of storage. I'm going to have to go get my uh, silverware. we got to get your silverware. It's all empty oh, no. right now. Uh-oh. I left. I, I, yeah. yeah. And then uh, really deep shelves for, see how deep those are? And there's uh, three of those there, so you can just mm -hmm. keep going. And then underneath the sink, there's even more storage. So you can see, you can bring an incredible amount of food with you wherever yeah, you want to like go. Just like an airline, before you take off, make sure all, everything's shut. Yeah, that is a really good point. You know, Quite yep. Always just push those latches. We like these latches. They seem to work really well. By the way, it's a, it's a fairly uh, latest models. It's it's pretty good. Uh, and, and then, then our fan. Uh, the fantastic vent fan. It's all controlled by a, a little remote control device here. And it's it's nice if it rains in your sleep and you get the fan open, it will automatically shut for you. So it's really good. Somebody I saw earlier said, do you live in this thing? And Carolyn's answering for us says, no, they have a house. We actually, we do, we have a house. We are probably in it uh, about uh, half the time, I'd say. And uh, about yeah, half, we, even a little more sometimes. Adventure Mobile is a good name. That's it's what Jennifer called it. See, it's Adventurous XL, it is the Adventure Mobile. Yeah. So it's great. A marriage, amazing storage capacity. Any idea how many cubic feet total? Having a clue. <laughs> Could you go show them the back, the storage in the back? Yeah, I guess we'll go outside. I'm gonna I'll leave you here with the dog because he'll come run home. loose. But let me go out and show you the exterior of this thing, and uh, and you can see how it kind of works. Again, we're at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and there's a lineup of many of their Class Bs that are up for sale. Of course, they sell everything from towables and Class As. And you got a it's a great dealership. I know it's pretty windy. If it's really bad, let me know. I'll walk around the back. There is our unit itself. Uh, it's all set there. And um, we have the back doors obviously open with, uh, there's Bo. Hey, Bo. Bo wants to come out with me. Can't understand why he's out in there. Uh, lots and lots of storage under here. This we call the basement. And you can see how deep it is. It goes all the way across. Uh, it really is. Uh, it really is deep. Um, thanks to Chad there for. Uh, there's Chad Neff from American RV. There's their. Uh, you can click on that link and you can look at some of the inventory that they have here. Um, but we have a ton of stuff now. I'm going to do a video uh, in the next couple of days on how we're going to make this individually our own. But I do a lot with this headboard. The back of this headboard, I put in a. I'll put in a rail right along here and then I'll use that to hang up my hose and my electrical stuff and you can get I mean a lot of stuff I'm even able to take one of those um, so-called uh, I call them look at the sky chairs you know those gravity chairs here's the uh, other side of our of our vehicle it's uh, silver is the exterior and uh, it's uh, it's pretty good uh, now I want to again explain to everybody that uh, this is a diesel. Everybody always wants to know it's a diesel, and uh, it's on the 3500 Sprinter uh, chassis, and it has the uh, dual wheels, the dual rear, rear, rear wheels, which really we think gives a lot of stability to it. So, um, so I, hopefully that uh, answers that. 
Well, I, uh, I'm going to about, we'll see if there's any more questions that anybody has. Just post them right along there and we'll be able to answer them. And uh, for those of you who went to our YouTube channel and wondered why it wasn't live there, uh, I chose to do it here on Facebook, on the Facebook page because we have so many followers, over 404, 405,000 people have liked us here, so we'll get a, a larger audience with it and it will, it will work well. But this will archive, it will be available live on the Facebook page, you can click it, give it a couple minutes and you can watch it from the start for those of you who tuned in late. And uh, for our YouTube uh, subscribers, uh, just uh, give it a couple minutes, it will show up there as well. Uh, for YouTube, uh, I want to just again remind you all that we have uh, have really concentrated now in the last couple of months in putting uh, all of our videos on Mike and Jennifer's RV Lifestyle channel on YouTube. We've got over 200 videos there and uh, I invite you to go and check it out. Please do us a favor and subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos are available on YouTube and we put them up two or three times a week. Uh, when you subscribe, there's like a little uh, something you can click that will say that just send me a notice uh, when new uh, new videos are online. So uh, thank you, Ron Wilson. Uh, uh, what a good looking RV. What's the base price for this one? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Chad uh, Neff, you can say you can type that in if you're watching inside American RV. What is the base price? Um, I think as configured, uh, you know, these are these are pretty expensive. They're probably they're, they're over 100, maybe 125, 30, maybe a little bit more. We do have solar up on the roof. I can't get up that high to show you. It's got a large inverter, so we have AC, and, uh, and it, it keeps going. So, Jennifer, we're about ready to end this thing. Um, what year is this model? It's a 2017. It's a good-looking RV. Let's see. Thank you for sharing. Congratulations on your new rig. Well, we're going to go try it out in the next day. We're going to spend tomorrow night and uh, we'll do it. Bo, do you have any, any final remarks to everybody? Bo, can you sit? Can you sit? Let's see if Bo will do a trick. Bo, sit. Let's show him how good of a trained dog you are. All right, just give me a paw. Nope, he doesn't. He's looking for food. Bo has no idea what we're doing here. All right. Hey, guys, uh, we thank you all so much for, um, for being, uh, being with us. And uh, if I was a little too herky-jerky with the video, uh, it was because Bo was pulling us. <laughs> and he tends to do that. Uh, hey, we, uh, we love you guys. We'll see you out there on the road. And if you're uh, in this area and you want to look at these, uh, these road tracks or any of them, I invite you to come by our friends at American RV. Uh, they're really easy to get to. They're in Grand Rapids, Michigan on uh, 76th Street and, uh, and uh, 131. So it's right off exit 130, or right off uh, Highway 131 at 76th Street. Uh, there they are. That's their headquarters now. And they can, as I said, they're building a 21,000 foot edition. Uh, this is the um, what is this? This is the third, the third one we we have bought from American RV. We love their service here. Uh, I think it's it's among the finest you'll find anywhere in the country. Uh, it's a it's a great company. So thanks everybody. Uh, we'll uh, circle back and we'll catch you uh, on the other side. Uh, this will be posted on Facebook, on the blog, and uh, Jennifer, say goodbye. Bye bye. All right, and Bo says, Oof. all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for being with us.